an exciting end it's been to the premier league season yaar and i feel like uh, manchester city might already be taking this one but uh, you know the beauty of the premier league is that anything can happen to kya lagta hai tumhe matlab which way is it going to go yeah absolutely shikhar like uh, any other premier league season it's uh, going to the very last day and uh, and i i believe this is this is what makes uh, premier league uh, very unique बिकॉज अगर आप देखोगे इन टॉप फाइव लीग्स खाली प्रीमियर लीग ऐसी लीग है जो लास्ट डे पर जा रही है और एल्स अदरवाइज सारी लीग्स है एंड आई थिंक दिस इज वाई वी लाइक टू वॉच प्रीमियर लीग है ना बिकॉज काफ़ी अनप्रडिक्टेबिलिटी है इफ यू सी टीम्स लाइक एस्टन विला फिनिशिंग फोर्थ एंड क्वालिफाइंग फॉर चैम्पियंस लीग एन यू कैन सेंस द नेचर ऑफ द लीग लाइक एनी थिंग कैन हैपन इन दिस लीग एंड कुछ लोग बोलेंगे भी यार कि पेप के आने के बाद से काफ़ी कुछ चेंजेस हो चुके हैं इट हैज़ बिकम ओनली वन साइडेड बट मैं उस स्टेटमेंट को काफ़ी कॉन्ट्रडिक्ट करूँगा बिकॉज इफ ए लीग इज गोइंग टू द फाइनल डे दैन इट्स वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एज अ व्यूअर आपको ये भी चाहिए कि थोड़ा हाई पेस हो गेम का थोड़ी एंड टू एंड फुटबॉल हो एक्शन हो ड्रामा हो राइट सो आई थिंक द प्रीमियर लीग ऑफर्स ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड मच मोर uh and apart from that you know the top coaches in world football are uh, and top players in world football are part of the premier league so you know as fans i am excited for every premier league season and for me it's been a great experience uh, you know watching this time of course my heart thought that arsenal should win this time it will be good for football uh but jaisa tumne bola it's not like city city has obviously you know been the front runners but the league in itself has become very very competitive across the seasons and you will see how the mid table teams are also you know progressing over the seasons to to tumhare hisab se whoever best player or best coach kaun raha hai season ka you know, what do you think uh, about this well that's a hard pick kyunki when it comes to player of the season kafi players hai jinhone bahut exceptionally well perform kiya se हालैंड हो गया ओली वॉटकिंग्स इज वन ऑफ द मार्टिन ऑडिगार्ड डेक्लिन राइस बट वन प्लेयर जो मेरे को लगता है कि हु हैज डन ट्रिमेंडसली वेल दैट इज कोल पाम एंड आई हैव फ्यू रीजन्स टू बैक इट एज वेल क्योंकि इफ यू सी द चेल्सी टीम जहाँ पे पाम खेलता है द स्क्वाड हैज बीन वेरी एवरेज ठीक है उनकी परफॉर्मेंस हैज बीन वेरी एवरेज एंड uh when you take out cole palmer uh, from the team then you see what exactly Ch- real image of uh, chelsea football uh, club is and uh, cole palmer has uh, worked himself or uh, uh, and he's if you see his stats agar assists dekh dekhte hain hum ya uh, goals dekhte hain then uh, he's also in uh, top uh, top 3 in uh, goal scoring and also is a uh, a uh, top assist maker of the premier league so i think uh, goal palmer uh, for me has to be the best uh, player of the premier league for this season isme mai agree karunga yaar tumhare sath goal palmer has been tremendous uh, agar aap usko hata do team se to you are removing 32 goals just yes. like that from the team you know so 22 goals and 10 assists is no joke yes. uh, especially after coming into a chelsea team which has been very unstable ऑन पेपर बहुत बढ़िया टीम है ऑन पेपर आप देखोगे तो टैलेंट भरा पड़ा टीम में लेकिन इस टीम में जाके टॉप टॉप परफॉर्मर बनना हैज यू नो इट्स रियली फिनोमिनल एंड आई थिंक मेरे हिसाब से ही इज बीइंग द बेस्ट प्लेयर ऑफ द सीजन एज वेल और अगर मैं कोच की बात करूं सो आई रियली रियली हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट फॉर उना एमली एस्टन विला में जो उसने काम किया है और जिस तरह से वो टीम को ऊपर लेके आया एंड ही इज गेटिंग द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ एवरीवन राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाट अ गुड मैनेजर डज ही गेट्स द बेस्ट एबिलिटी आउट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ हिज प्लेयर्स ओली वॉटकिंस को आप देख लो डगलस लुइस देख लो सो मेनी एग्जांपल्स कि एस्टन विला इज गोइंग टू फिनिश फोर्थ दिस सीजन एंड दे आर गोइंग टू एंटर द चैंपियंस लीग नेक्स्ट सीजन एंड वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग स्टैटिस्टिक वेब जो मेरे पास है तुम्हारे लिए इज दैट out of all the all the teams which have less than 500 shots mm. this season in the premier league aston villa has scored the most goals to aap dekho ki kitna efficient hai wo you know in the goal scoring but tumhe kya lagta hai the best manager unai emery hai ya fir aur koi aur koi hai mind 
वेल जैसे शिगर यू मैंशन की उन्हें मेरी हैज डन ट्रिमेंडस जॉब एंड आई वुड एग्री टू दिस स्टेटमेंट बट फॉर मी आई हैव ए सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर मिकल आर्टेटा एंड क्योंकि मेरे को नहीं लगा था कि जिस जैसा आर्सनल ने पहले परफॉर्म किया था लास्ट सीजन दे परफॉर्म दे वुड बी एबल टू रेप्लीकेट द सेम दिस सीजन आई वॉज थिंकिंग या आई वॉज होपिंग कि ठीक है दे विल फिनिश समर थर्ड और फोर्थ बट नाउ दे आर चैलेंजिंग फॉर द टाइटल रेस एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ मेंटेलिटी आफ्टर वर्ड दे फेस प्रीवियस सीजन इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू पुट इन इन एनी टीम एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू सी द डिसीजन ही हैज मेड लाइक काफ़ी ब्रेव डिसीजन लिए मिकल एडेट इन उस जर्नी में ही हैज रिमूव रैम्स डेल एंड ही हैज गिवन चांस टू डेविड रह then he has changed role of declan rice declan rice came as a holding midfielder and now he has shifted his position to somewhat like attacking and box to box midfielder and that is the reason he is contributing a, a lot uh, in goals and making assists as well for uh, arsenal also you cannot deny the form of odigard aur baki jo players ho gaye and in game uh, management in game plan ho gaye so Uh, Arteta has done a tremendous job, and I personally feel uh, that the chances are little slim. But uh, I would say uh, the title uh, should be going to Arsenal uh, because somewhat uh, for me they deserve it for the season they had so far. The miracles go jate, and uh, there is every possibility of it happening once again. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I am mostly uh, a more realistic person. मैन सिटी जीत जाएगी इस बार भी और अगले दो तीन साल भी मैन सिटी ही टॉप पे रहेगी कम्पीट करने के लिए बट इट्स गुड टू सी आर्सनल एंड लिवरपूल इज वेल जिन्होंने ब्रीफली कम्पीट किया सीजन में यू नो इट्स गुड टू सी एंड आई होप मोर टीम्स जॉइन दैट टाइटल रेस इन द अपकमिंग सीजन राइट तो अब आ जाते हैं अभी यार अपने टीम ऑफ द सीजन पे एंड I am really curious to know तुमने किसको पिक किया अपने best eleven में? So I'll go with the classic four three three and uh, my starting eleven will be loaded with the City and Arsenal players. <laughs> so I would go with uh, David Raya on goal, ठीक है? Because stats speak uh, for itself and David Raya has been phenomenal on goal. He has conceded least amount uh, of goals. ठीक है? If you see Arsenal has just conceded twenty eight goals in a whole season. this is a remarkable thing uh, in front of uh, david raya i would i would go with the uh, van dijk and uh, saliba van dijk specifically because uh, as you must be also knowing ki uh, liverpool squad were in crumbles in uh, between the season kyunki half of the players were injured but uh, van dijk uh, made sure that he stood there and uh, that is the reason liverpool keep competing uh, for the title uh, until april with the uh, both of them i would put ben white as my right back theek hai i really like the way he has changed his position and transformed himself mere ko nahi lagta koi agar first time premier league dekh raha hai arsenal ko follow kar raha hai he would say ki ben white uh, was center back once and uh, coming on the left flank i will uh, go with uh, antony robinson he has been uh, he has played crucial role uh, for uh, full am this season so this will be my back line now coming to the midfielders i would uh, go with declan rice with the uh, defensive midfielder kyunki mere hisab se he has been a signing of the uh, season and uh, with to support declan rice uh, i would go with martin odigard on the left and uh, odigard uh, has been phenomenal he even last season he was very good and uh, i feel this is like upgraded version of uh, odiga that we have uh, seen this season games after game games after game he is stepping for uh, arsenal in uh, getting the results for them on the right mai de bruyne ke sath jaunga theek hai kyunki uh, i know de bruyne ne itna time nahi khela hai is season he has played half of the season but uh, if you see the difference uh, he has made agar last match ke example dekh lo the haland goal that came through his assist only so these are the little details that matters and arguably he is a, a best premier league player of last five seasons so this will be my midfield coming to my forward line uh, as i pick my best player of the season so definitely he is going to start on uh, right wing that is cole palmer uh, with him uh, to support uh, i would put 
Oli Watkins as a striker. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal performance. I've been seeing Oli Watkins for one or two seasons. Okay, but uh, this season, uh, Unai Emery has given him the support that he wanted from last two seasons, and the results are in uh, front of you. And on uh, left, I would uh, go with uh, Phil Foden of Manchester City. He's having great season, like season uh, of his uh, lifetime. So, so for me, this is what the starting eleven of the season should uh, look like. And uh, you tell me, Shikhar, is there any changes to this, or is it the same? Little bit changes are. I have gone with a four-four-two formation. Um, so in goal, I have David Raya, same as you. Mm. Uh, best defense of the season, सबसे कम goals conceded करे हैं. और Arteta का style भी जो है playing out from the back उसमें mm. David Raya का you know काफी importance है. Um, in my centre backs, I'm going to have Virgil Van Dijk. Mm. Right, good, uh, right. Again, phenomenal uh, player for many many years. Yes. Liverpool के लिए he has been you know one of the front front runners, one of the first names on the team sheet. Virgil Van Dijk. Right. Uh, in centre back, I'm going to have Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel from Arsenal. उसने भी बहुत अच्छी performance दिखाई है. Calm or composed right in the whole season. He has rarely ever put a foot wrong. Right. Um, बाकी full backs भी हम आ जाते हैं. तो I have an interesting pick on left back, uh, just like you did, Robinson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have Destiny Udogi of Tottenham. Very mm-hmm. good uh, mm-hmm. signing for me, for Spurs. In a mm-hmm. season where they have not exactly had much to smile mm-hmm. about, um, but still, uh, down the left flank, he offers a lot of pace and a lot of creativity for Postec Oblu. Uh, mm-hmm. And right back, I have the same as you, Ben White. Mm-hmm. Ben White has mm-hmm. this season a very good mm-hmm. performance. Diya, he's come up with. Goals and assists as mm-hmm. well um, in in decent numbers for a fullback, right? So that's my back line. Now I'm going to come to our midfield four pick. So in the center, I'm going to have Declan Rice and Rodri uh, purely because of how both of them. If you talk about the date of today's date, then who are the best center midfielders on the planet? Mm-hmm. So these are the two names that are starting to come to everyone's yes. mind. Uh, Rodri, so I think. Even Ballon d'Or की contention में था पिछले season और शायद इस season भी हो सकता है and Declan Rice obviously uh, we got to see a new side of him a box to box side like you just said uh, left and right hand side पे I'm going to have two uh, absolute machines of players Phil Foden and Cole Palmer अब इन लोगों ने जो impact दिया है at such a young age that to yes. मतलब हम लोग चौबीस पच्चीस के होके यहाँ पे podcast कर रहे हैं but वो लोग Premier League में एकदम बढ़िया लेवल पे परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं दे हैव सो मेनी गोल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशंस फॉर यू नो फॉर देयर रिस्पेक्टिव टीम्स यस सो फोर्डन एंड पामर ऑन द विंग्स एंड स्ट्राइकर्स में आई हैव गॉन विद बोथ अर्लिंग हालैंड एज वेल एज ओली वॉटकिंस नाउ यू माइट से और पीपल माइट से कि भाई अर्लिंग हालैंड तो एक्सपोज हो गया उसने तो इस सीजन अपनी एक ही साइड दिखाई है बहुत बहुत वन डायमेंशनल प्लेयर है बट He is still the golden boot front runner for the yeah. Premier League, right? Six goals. Uh, and football, me, he is the whoever scores more goals uh, wins the game, right? And goals' ki importance kabi nahi jaane wali football me. Jai yes. baaki chizo ki importance kam zada hote re. Goals will be the top most factor, and that's what I also believe. So I have Erling Haaland in my team and Oli Watkins as well. Um, so many goals, around thirty-two, I believe, goal contributions yes. this season. Um, so that's that's my you know best eleven of the season. so thodi bahut similarities hain but uh, yeah i i feel like uh, we both have a solid eleven yes. maybe in our own opinions. so if you guys are listening to this you can even uh, write your top eleven in the comment box below or chat box. and uh, let's see kitni similarities hai uh, and uh, do you agree with the starting eleven or uh, what are the reasons that you don't agree. अब हम चलते हैं टॉप थ्री गोल्स पे आई एम रियली क्यूरियस बिकॉज इतने सारे अच्छे गोल्स देखे हैं हमने इस सीजन है ना और जब मैं सोच रहा था इस बारे में आई वाज वेरी वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड इट वाज वेरी टफ फॉर मी टू एक्चुअली पिक आउट द टॉप थ्री फेवरेट गोल्स ऑफ माइंड बट लेट स्टार्ट विद यू तुम बताओ वॉट डू यू फील द टॉप थ्री गोल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यू यू हैव पुट मी इन द स्पॉट नाउ क्योंकि 
देर हैज बिन लॉर्ड ऑफ फिनोमिनल गोल्स एज यू मैंशन है ना थोड़ा मेरे को लगता है पुष्कर वर्दी गोल्स भी होंगे इस चीज़ में फॉर मी लेट्स मेक इट थ्री टू वन है ना आई स्टार्ट विद द थर्ड गोल सो जो मेरे को लगता है कि फिल फोडन अगेंस्ट एवर्टन फॉर मी इट विल गो एज ए गुड गोल ऑफ द सीजन ठीक है लाइक वन ऑफ द बेस्ट गोल्स ऑफ द सीजन फॉर मी ठीक है इट वॉज टिपिकल फिल फोडन गोल लेफ्ट बैक राइट बैक ने कट इन किया पास दिया फिल फोडन विद दैट वन टच एंड फिनिश इन टू द बॉटम कॉर्नर सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज टिपिकल फिल फोडन गोल ही हैज स्कोर्ड मैनी गोल्स इन अ सिमिलर फैशन दिस सीजन बट वो गोल आई थिंक थोड़ा स्टूड आउट किया देन सेकेंड में मैं बोलूँगा मै कैलिस्टर वर्सेज फुल हैम लाइक दैट वॉज ए क्रेजी गेम फोर थ्री वॉज अ स्कोर लाइन एंड दैट गोल वॉज फुल ऑफ बैंगर्स बीट फ्रॉम आर्नोल्ड बीट फ्रॉम मै कैलिस्टर बट द रीजन आई एम पिकिंग मै कैलिस्टर इज दैट बिकॉज आई डि नॉट एक्सपेक्ट मै कैलिस्टर टू डिलीवर सच काइंड ऑफ गोल है ना बिकॉज आई फेल की मै कैलिस्टर इज दैट टाइप ऑफ प्लेयर की ही इज हेल्पिंग द टीम टू लिंक अप है ना फिर बॉक्स में जाके सपोर्ट कर रहा है बट दैट केम आउट ऑफ नो वेयर एंड द स्ट्राइक इन टू द टॉप कॉर्नर मेड बी गो वॉक सो मै कैलिस्टर वुड बी ऑन माई सेकेंड लिस्ट एंड फर्स्ट गोल द बेस्ट गोल फॉर मी वुड बी ऑफ गेम नैचो ऑफ मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड रूनी एस बाइसिकल के सो आई थिंक दैट विल बी द ओनली हाईलाइट फॉर यूनाइटेड फैंस फ्रॉम दिस सीजन और तो कुछ अच्छा नहीं हुआ है उनके लिए आई गो वन टू थ्री अच्छा फर्स्ट में आई है सेम एज यू गर्नाचो I feel like his goal was even better than Wayne Rooney's. Now this might raise some controversies yeah, in the comment section, but uh, I feel the angle which he was at yes. was a lot more difficult to execute. Or ball, uske kafi piche aaye the, and you know the way he timed the jump, the way he showed his instinct, mm. uh, it was phenomenal. You don't get to see goals like that every day, and I consider myself lucky to have been to. to be able to witness that live you know um united ke liye to of course that would have been the highlight <laughs> of the season and uh, second may i have uh, of course mcallister's goal was great but i actually have a united player again uh, i have rashford against manchester city um the first time shot that he took mm-hmm. um right into the, into the top corner from around 30 35 yards mm-hmm. um you know i think the ball was laid off by bruno fernandes and uh, you know he just fizzed it into the net mm. and what a pure strike and a pure connection and he's always had that ability us zyada me season dekhne ko nahi mili hai fortunately or unfortunately but um, you know i think that's my second best goal mm. and if i talk about my third goal it would be uh, mohammed kudus of west ham uh, the goal he scored against bradford um what a brilliant bicycle kick uh, once again uh, or rather a scissor kick because yes. he was moving a bit sideways yes. and uh, to score into the far corner like that absolutely brilliant so what do you think uh, how many bones are you going to break if you try to replicate kudos and gennacho well you should ask me that in the hospital <laughs> once i'm there um but ha huh, it's so difficult and again in cheezo देख के हम फैंस इतने कैप्टिवेट हो जाते हैं एंड दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ द प्रीमियर लीग लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच यू नो व्हिच आई रियली वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट तुम्हारे हिसाब से इस सीजन ब्रेक थ्रू टीम कौन सी है मतलब जिन्होंने बहुत अनएक्सपेक्टेडली बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म किया ब्रेक थ्रू टीम के कंटेंडर्स आई थिंक फॉर मी देयर बी टू कंटेंडर्स one is uh, bournemouth and uh, other one is aston villa bournemouth so i was thinking ki they'll be relegated this season but uh, uh, they have done exceptionally well but uh, i would uh, go with uh, aston villa for breakout team of the season theek hai kyunki nowadays as football fans we do not know weightage of aston villa in european football and uh, because uh, they once they were the dominant dominant force in the european football 
and uh, this is a huge huge uh, achievement for unai and emery and uh, aston villa players that uh, they will be cha- playing champions league after what the 42 or uh, 44 years and the way unai emery has built uh, this team jo jo players leke aaya hai and the way how the players has adapted to his philosophy so beat pau torres beat musa diaby beat transformation of uh, oli watkins beat john mcginn stepping up game after game for his team so right. on paper if you see aston villa is uh, a team to watch out for for next season as well theek hai what i hope as a football fan uh, jaise newcastle ke sath hua is season i don't want aston to replicate the same and uh, i had huge expectations on newcastle as well especially in champions league ठीक है एंड एक और चीज मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि एस्टन विला इज ओनली टीम हु हैज वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट दिस सीजन अगेंस्ट आर्सिन सो दे हैव टेकन सिक्स पॉइंट फ्रॉम आर्सिन सो सिटी फैंस मस्ट बी थैंकिंग टॉट एन एम फॉर गिविंग द टाइटल बट इट्स एस्टन विला हु सिटी फैंस को जिसको थैंक करना चाहिए बिकॉज पुलिंग ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट्स अगेन दिस आर्सिन and that to uh, and that to at a time when the premier league bahut uh, peak pe thi arsenal was chasing their title and they went on to emirates and got that win of uh, 2-0 i think uh, the league was half over then in their itself mere liye to i think considering the level of resources that the club has bournemouth has done a tremendous job yes. um the manager era uh, era has finished 11th yes. uh, the season which is bournemouth's top most finish uh, in their history in mm-hmm. the premier league to is baat ko hume kafi appreciate karna chahiye yaar aur he is again got the best out of many players so lanky ho gaya uh, simenyo ho gaya justin ploivert ho gaye uh, and it's the right mix of youth and experience as well in that team mm-hmm. uh, which is why uh, for a team like bournemouth finishing 11th in the premier league is a really really good result yes. and something which they can build upon you know mm. in, in the coming seasons kya pata agar aise hi chalta rahe to maybe they can also you know enter the same league as maybe a west ham mm. or uh, or an aston villa what it is right now mm. and again coming back to what we were talking about starting with this is the beauty of the premier league like uh, uh, teams can do things which are unexpected and Absolutely. they can uh they can over perform on any given day and mm-hmm. across the course of a season and teams that were expecting to do well like manchester united for example or chelsea um end up finishing in lower places than people would expect them to who according to you had a better season chelsea or bournemouth considering wo clubs kis situation mein hai uh considering the context the resources that both of them have the the team sheets that they can potentially bring out of course chelsea may be injury issues rahe undoubtedly uh which is why a consistency nahi ban pa rahi unki um pochettino has done well this year main bolunga ki is saal 2024 mein chelsea ne acha kiya but um obviously again not up to the mark so i think bournemouth uh I'll, i'll give it to bournemouth kyunki unhone uh, over perform kiya hai hum log to expect kar rahe the ki bournemouth relegate ho jayegi yes uh, i was one yes. <laughs> you were one of them exactly so um i think that uh, bournemouth did did better than chelsea again i might raise some controversies here in the comments especially with chelsea fans but that's just my opinion so bournemouth versus chelsea is one of the fixture that we have to look for next season चलो नेक्स्ट सीजन की तो बात बाद में करेंगे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस सीजन ओनली फाइनल मैच डे आने वाला है ना एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड है ना पहले विल जस्ट गाइड अवर व्यूअर्स जिसको अभी सिनेरियो नहीं पता है वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द सिनेरियो ऑफ प्रीमियर लीग सो टू टीम्स आर फाइटिंग फॉर द टाइटल one is manchester city and another one is uh, arsenal at the moment manchester city is leading the table by one point so if city needs to win the league 
they just have to go out there play west ham at home and just get the win if that happens city wins the league if arsenal wants to win the league then city has to drop points either city has to play a draw or or city has to lose uh, against west ham now if city plays draw against west ham uske baad bhi it will go on to the goal difference so it's it's uh, going to be uh, very excited like as a neutral fan I'm hoping कि कुछ upset हो है ना because uh, as we were talking the unpredictability of uh, Premier League like कुछ भी हो सकता है and final day में हमने पहले इतनी बार देखा हुआ है beat uh, इस बार तो चलो relegation battle नहीं है but uh, मतलब anything can happen uh, on the uh, final day so as a neutral fan I want to see some drama. <laughs> है ना मेरे को तो ड्रामा देखना है बट समवे डाउन द लाइन आई ऑल्सो नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू पुल इन अपसेट ऑन सिटी है ना एंड आई थिंक दिस इज व्हाट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिटी एंड अदर टीम इज कि अगर आप देखोगे कि लेटर स्टेजेस ऑफ द प्रीमियर लीग पे सिटी कभी बहुत मुश्किल से पॉइंट्स ड्रॉप कर दिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक सम पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम सिटी आदर इट शुड बी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द सीजन या मेड ऑफ द सीजन when it's neck to neck competition i haven't seen city bottling so my heart says some drama some upset but uh, mind says city is uh, going for the four title sorry arsenal fan but uh, this is how my mind works well i mean uh, city to shayad dusre tournaments pe zarur bottle kar deti <laughs> but uh, premier league mein you're right unke paas ek edge rehta hai they perform uh consistently across the season and especially well at the end of the season like you just said so we're all going to be tuned in for uh you know for sunday night uh, 8:30 is when the matches start and uh, all the 10 all the 20 teams will be in action for the final match day of the premier league which we are very very excited for and uh, you know just in conclusion um i wanted to ask the viewers to tell us in the comments who do you think will win the league and who's going to um you know come out on top between city and arsenal and if you have any other controversial opinions uh you know feel feel free to use the comment section um we'll engage the discussion as much as we can uh but it was great we were discussing with you as well bahut maza aaya baat karke um कुछ चीजें थी जिसमें हमने शायद अग्री नहीं किया और कुछ चीजें थी जिसमें हमने किया बट या एज न्यूट्रल प्रीमियर लीग फैंस आई थिंक वी हैड अ ग्रेट सीजन और आने वाले सीजन में बहुत बहुत एक्साइटिंग